Hey guys, so today I'm going to be trying all of these. So these are Japanese Doriaki pancakes. And we have chocolate. Um, I think this is chestnut sesame cream and red bean and then a uh, normal red bean lemon custard uh, normal custard strawberries and cream lemon cheesecake green tea mascarpone and red bean and green tea custard so Doriaki is basically a um, pancake um, sandwich so two pancakes with filling inside. So all together I have ten different flavours. So let's start with the um, more original flavour, the red bean paste filling one. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to cut them in half so I could show you all um, the inside. There's the red bean uh, paste filling. This is a normal red bean paste. Um, so you can normally get um, smooth and then smooth red bean paste and a um, like original, I think. So one is um, just a smooth paste and the other one has like the, um, I don't think you can see the camera, but the big chunks of um, the red beans. So the pancakes are really sweet and really soft. Um, the red bean paste goes um, really well with it. The only problem I personally have is the um, chunks in the red bean paste. It's just, um, I don't know, I just don't like the texture. I'd probably give that a four. <laughs> simply because the texture just put me off. So let's start with all the um, red bean ones first. So next I have the sesame cream and red bean Doriaki. Oh, that was not what I was expecting. <laughs> so it's like a light grey paste. I was expecting it to look more of the red bean um, colour. So that did not taste what I was expecting it to taste like. I was expecting like I'm not sure like more of a strong red bean flavour or more of a strong sesame flavour. But it's actually just like cream. It just tastes like a nice cream filling. Doesn't really taste like red bean. So I'm not sure if it's just because the mixture of the two flavours, but that's actually really nice. Yeah, I think I'll give that a five. I think this is the chest that one, it doesn't actually say. Oh, wow. This one <laughs> it just has like this one just seems like it has loads of filling, like twice as much filling as the other ones. I don't know if you can like tell, but it just looks huge filling wise. Um it's got the the whole red bean paste and I think it's got like whole chestnuts in it or big chunks of chestnut. Um, I'm not sure <laughs> how, like, how um, I'm going to like this because of the lumps. Like, I don't know. Well, let's find out.
So obviously it's like the um, other red bean one that I just tried, but I was expecting the chestnut to be like crunchy and like hard because that's just what I expect nuts to be like. But it's actually like quite soft, so I don't know, I'm really confused about that one. But like you can taste the chestnut in the aftertaste, but it just tastes like a normal um red bean one. So I'm going to give that um a four <laughs> like the other one because I just don't like the texture of the filling. This is the, the um green tea mascarpone um red bean doriaki. I'm really hoping this one tastes um nicer than the other red bean ones, simply because it's green tea, um, you know, matcha, so I really love um, green tea um, desserts, so like cakes and just sweet desserts in general, and uh, this looks like a creamy filling, so should be nice, yeah, that's, that's really nice, it's literally just um, like a sweet cream filling with um, a subtle uh, green tea flavour, so it's not overpowering. It's really sweet, really soft. Goes well with the pancake because the pancake is soft. Um, yeah, this this one is definitely the nicest one so far. Um, I'm going to give this. Mm, a seven. I'm going to give this a seven out of ten. Next is the green tea custard doriaki. Oh, it's like really damp on the bottom. I don't think you can like tell. It's really like squishy and like damp. So I, I. Don't know. Maybe it's just the custard, just like soaking into the packet. But yeah, that was weird. I wasn't expecting that. Please don't be any bad. Please. Yeah, it's um the custard has seeped into the um pancakes, so they're quite like not like entirely soggy, but. I think if you kept it a bit after you brought it instead of eating it straight away then it probably would taste really soggy if it doesn't already. It definitely has the um, texture of custard. Now I'm not a fan of cold custard but with this, this is nice. Um, the green tea custard isn't too bitter and it's not too sweet, it's literally just, just perfect. This one is definitely nicer than the other green tea. So, what did I give the other one? Seven. So, uh, yeah, th this is an eight then. Easy eight. That is an eight. That's amazing. I kind of want to eat all of it right now. <laughs> so nice. Let's try the normal um, custard doriaki. So this is the normal one. This one doesn't feel as like damp as the last one did. So, which is weird, because this is also a custard one. So there we go. This is the normal custard filled doriaki. It's, it's just really nice. <laughs> um, is it? I don't know if it's better, or I don't know if it's actually worse than the green tea one, but I think I just prefer the green tea one because I just like the um, flavour. But th this is just as nice, the normal one. I'm going to give that an 8. Same the other one. That was an 8, right? I think so. Last um, custard flavour, lemon custard. This one is also this is worse than the green tea one. It's like damp. It's like it's just 
it's a way. I don't think it, look, can you tell the thing else? It's tiny. Like that's just from the bottom of this. So good. I think it's just from the um, flavouring that they add to the custard. Because the green tea one was like that as well. But the normal custard one wasn't. It's like a sour salt cake. Okay? <laughs> it sounds disgusting. That's a um, strong lemon flavor. Now it just tastes like I'm eating like a lemon cake. I mean, it's full of am. But I just want to see if lemon drizzle cake. I'm going to give it a seven simply because um a green tea one better. <laughs> I just like the green tea one better. Lemon cheesecake doriaki. We need you there. I still can't believe I brought all these doriakis. Here's the um, lemon cheesecake doriaki. So it's definitely more of a cream, it's not custard, it's the cream. So this I think might be nicer than the lemon custard one. No. Um, God, <laughs> that was really strong, too strong. Um, the lemon flavor. That was like <clears throat> as if someone was trying to make a lemon um, cake or something, and just put too much lemon flavor in it. Like they just tipped the bottle while making the filling. No, I'm going to give that a five. That was uh, disappointing. I thought that would be nice. Strawberries and cream and chocolate. Now the strawberries and cream is either going to be really good or really bad if it's going to be like the other ones. Okay, and... I was expecting it to be more pink, but eh, just me probably. Oh wow. That's really nice. I was expecting the um strawberry cream to have that artificial flavour to it, if you know what I mean. But this 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 generally tastes like they had mixed some fresh strawberries in with cream. That's really nice. That was a 9 out of 10. Chocolate! The last one! <laughs> Finally! Oh, oh gosh. Imagine like eating all of these. Like I'm just like tasting them. <laughs> Imagine eating like all of every single one of them. Like how full you would be, or how like sick? I, I'd probably still be sick. I don't know if I'd be able to finish it even if I tried. Do you think you could eat <laughs> all ten of these sorryagis in one go? Let me <laughs> let me know with my comments. <laughs> um, the chocolate sorryaki. Let's um, look and eat. So they're gonna be really bad chocolate because I'm not best on Johnny's chocolate. They're either way too sweet or way too bitter. No in between. Let's see if we end up if this ends on a really good level. <laughs> bad. I mean it's not bad. It tastes like something. It tastes like um like a chocolate mousse filling. It's a uh, definitely a strong chocolate flavour, well stronger than I thought it would be. Eight. Eight out of ten. It's nice. But 
that strawberries and cream one was just amazing. So the worst ones were the <coughs> um, bread bean dorayaki and the red bean and chestnut ones. Best one, strawberries and cream. Then chocolate and the green tea custard. So, so, so. Like I said earlier, let me know if you think if you think you could eat all ten of these, one after another, without being sick or just getting full. Because I don't think I can eat all of these. <coughs> Let me know if you've had um, Doriaki before, if you've been to Japan, if you've had um, ones from J Japan and a few have brought some, then let me know which you think is better. Let me know the flavour you'd really like to try, the flavour you um, don't think you'd like. Now I've got to figure out who to feed all of these to. Um, here they are. Don't know what to do with them all. So I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.